Hey everybody, this lesson is on area practice 3.1.4 for our math six second semester. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at that groovy website right there. And then make sure you click the link independent study. And I teach a lot of independent study classes. So make sure you're picking uh, math six uh, semester two on that. Okay, for this lesson anyway. So as you see, go into the next year, I'll have math seven and math eight in there. And then I also have uh, your your um, your high school math on there as well. Okay, so uh, read the assignments carefully and make sure that we answer each part of the question or the questions and then check our work when we're done. Okay, here we go. So Mitch is building a doghouse. Okay, he cuts out one sheet of wood uh, to make the front wall. And then he also, so here's this uh, sheet of wood right here. And then he also cuts out this doorway right here that's two by two. So the dimensions and feet are shown. So it looks like the original is three by four before we cut it out. And then we cut out this little hole so the dog can walk through and have a nice doghouse right there. So Mitch is going to paint uh, the wood. What's the area that he needs to paint? So they want to know what's the area of this shaded region, this sort of upside down U-shaped thing right there. All right, so um, what is the area of the rectangular piece of wood before the square is cut out? And we're going to make sure to include units with the answer. So area is always square units. So in this case, it's feet squared or square feet. Um, okay, so here's that uh, piece of wood that, that Mitch is going to paint right here. So they want to know what's the area before we cut that out. So let's go ahead and fill it back in. They want this area right here. So remember, area of a rectangle is length times width or, or base times height, depending on what kind of mood your teacher is in and who's teaching you and all that stuff. So. Uh, so length times width. So we're going to go ahead and do, here's the length, here's the width. You can call this the length and this the width. We're just multiplying. So I'm going to put 4 in for the length and 3 in for the width. So 4 times 3 is 12. All right, now don't forget, we got to include the units with our answer. So don't just write 12, because 12 doesn't mean anything. What's that? 12 tires, 12 inches, 12 feet. Well, this is 12 feet squared or 12 square feet, okay? So we're going to uh, make sure you include it as 12 feet squared, or you can write the word square feet, 12 square feet. That's okay also. All right, so what is the area of the square that was cut out of the wood, okay? And remember to include uh, units on this, okay? So this last one, there's three points right there. So we're showing the work, and then we answer the question in the context. Of the problem area is always square units in this case feet so square feet or feet square so what's the area of this little square right here so we're just focusing on this little piece right here so i'm going to take out the rest of that right there okay so remember the area of a square it's also length times width but your textbook wants you to say side squared so s stands for the side so the side is two so it's going to be two squared which is two times two or four don't forget, four square feet or four feet squared right there. So the area of the cutout piece was four feet squared. All right, so now they're going to ask, what's the area that Mitch needs to paint and explain how he found the answer? Okay, so the, 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 here's the piece that he's going to paint. So the front wall is going to be the, the, the big rectangle that we started with, and we're going to take out that little piece right there. So, we're gonna, so the big rectangle is 12, and then the small square was 4, so we take away 4. 12 minus 4 is 8. Don't forget to answer this in the context of the problem. Area is always square feet or square units, whatever the units are. These are feet. So here we go. So it's going to be uh, Mitch needs to paint eight square feet or eight feet squared, depending on what kind of mood you're in. All right, you guys, take care.